Hello, I'm the Mighty Mighty Span Daniel, and today I want to talk to you about Paranormal Activity 4. I went to go see that movie with my girlfriend this past weekend, and I'm not a fan of horror movies, but she is. She finds the experience cathartic. She goes to the movie, she gets her squeals out, and she's like, oh, I'm good. But what happens when I go to a horror movie? I go to see a horror movie, and when I come out of it, I'm like jumpy. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, which is why I don't like going to horror movies. But I have a girlfriend. She likes them. So uh, sometimes she likes to rent them. And when she brings them back to her place, we're hanging out. We're doing our thing. I make dang sure I pass the hell out as soon as that move. As soon as I start to see one of the characters start to go, oh, oh, oh I'm like. <sighs> but horror movies don't work for me. Why? Because the black guy always dies. I can't empathize with these films. I don't feel like I can be a part of these movies. First of all, because as a black dude, whenever something scary is about to happen, I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. And people say, do black people always do that? Yes, we do. Two examples. One nonfiction, second one fiction. First one, Jackass. They did a skit where Bam Margera and Johnny Knoxville were pretending to be jewel thieves hiding up in the ceiling and they fell through the ceiling into a room with three people. Two white people, one female, one female, and one black person, a black dude. And as soon as they hit the ground and started to rumble around for these fake jewels, the brother was, he was gone like the wind, running like his life depended on it. Not that it did, but he didn't know that was a skit. He was just leaving because he knows better. When stuff doesn't look right, you dip. White people want to investigate. Ooh, what's this? I hear something funny. Let me go. Mm-mm. 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 Something weird's going on. I'm gone. The second example is from the movie Scary Movie. The original. The only one that matters because all the others are crap. In fact, the first one's pretty crappy. It's just... Has to be funny, too, because Anna Ferris is hilarious. There's a scene early on in the movie where they have this all-black news crew, and they're standing around their van, and they go, they're talking about the deaths that have been happening. They go, all we know is white people dying, and they can't account for it, and we gone. And they pack up their stuff, dip the hell out. That movie was made by a black dude, Keenan Ivory Wayans. It's a fictional story, but as far as I'm concerned, that's nonfiction at its finest. Chucks, I know in my personal life that if, if, I, if, I, if there was a scary noise around here that I couldn't account for, I'd... What was that? The hell was that? That was a scary noise. I don't understand. No, thank you. Oh, <laughs> glass table. Bad idea. Oh, shoes. Shoes. That's it. Paranormal activity wasn't that bad and it wasn't that scary. I'm the Mighty Mighty Span Daniel and you're welcome. If you want to like this video, I suggest you do so right down here. I'm still learning how to do this right, but right down here. And then go right here to favorite this video and of course go up here to subscribe because this helps make my videos more popular on the interwebs. <laughs>